So you made a few videos on the internet and they're not doing so well. You're putting your blood, sweat, and tears, but seriously, no one's fucking watching. And don't worry, I'm actually in the exact same place with my YouTube channel. Today we're gonna figure out together how to grow your YouTube channel when things are just not working. So jumping right into it, I actually went on Fiverr to talk to a data scientist and it did cost $3,750 per minute, but I did really want to invest in myself. So I went ahead, purchased a few meetings with him and I'm about to actually go in to have our conversation. I'm really nervous to see what he's gonna say about my YouTube channel. I hope he really fixes it. Hey, 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 hey. I had just found you in Craigslist for data consulting. Are you Leon, the data scientist? What do you want? Hey, I, I know you work with some of the biggest brands in the world. My YouTube channel is kind of dying. Can you please take a look at my data? I really need some analysis. No. All right, guys, so I just came back from the data scientist. He gave me some actually really good feedback. So let's just get started to unravel what to do when your channel is shit. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jade Darmawangza. I help people grow on social media, combining marketing and psychology to really understand how social media platforms work. I'm so sorry for the cheesy skit before. If you can't tell, my humor is sarcasm and I hope that was funny. On a real note, because I make YouTube videos for a living, I have talked to a few data scientists that work for YouTube to talk a little bit more about the algorithm. So in today's video, we are gonna talk Talk about what to do when your channel is not growing. The first thing is thumbnails. If you have a low performing video, you can actually go ahead and change your thumbnail even after you upload it. So to give you guys some context, this YouTube channel you're actually watching gets around 10 to 50,000 views on average, but sometimes I have videos that hit around 5,000 views. And although those are amazing viewer numbers and I know it's not little at all, I do want to see what can I do to get it unstuck. And this happens a ton. What I used to do was just complain and literally cry at the algorithm when I had a low performing video. All I thought in my head was, man, I suck in life and I can't go past 5,000 views. What I failed to realize after talking to multiple data scientists, not the sketchy one on Fiverr, <laughs> is I realized that you can actually go ahead and give your video a second chance by changing the title and thumbnail. So this is what happened. I had a video that had 5,000 views. I changed the title and thumbnail a few days later. And now the video has surpassed 10,000 views and every day it keeps growing. So literally in one week, it doubled the view count. And let me prove to you why this is working. What I did is I went to my YouTube studios and I figured out that YouTube was actually actually showing my video to 100,000 people, but only 5% of them were clicking the video. The 100,000 people YouTube was showing my video to is called impressions. So if you wanna know your impressions, just go to YouTube Studio and find that number. What you realize is the algorithm is not hiding your content. They're literally showing it to a mass audience. It's just that maybe your title and thumbnail just sucks ass. So what I realized is my title and thumbnail sucked, so I changed it a little bit, and this is what it looks like now. So before, this is what it looked like. It's about the TikTok algorithm, but there wasn't really any substance to the title and thumbnail. Honestly, it was too vague and you really couldn't tell what the video was about. So then I changed it to this. This is about why are TikTokers always the same? And I believe that the viewer said it's more enticing and maybe it's something more curious driven. You know, the first one is a little bit just plain and obvious. It's about the TikTok algorithm. It doesn't really make sense, but this one definitely drives more curiosity, which definitely increases my click-through rate. So what happens is YouTube's still showing it to 100,000 people, but because you improved your title and thumbnail, it suddenly is now from 5% to 10%. And now we have 10 thousand views on that video. And that's the first thing you can do. So look at your data. Don't be afraid to go into your analytics and check out what's up. You know, what's my click through rate? What's my impressions? Could I do anything to improve that number? And what you realize is you can. So if you guys would like to see a whole separate video about how I make thumbnails better and how you can too, comment below and give this video a like so I know you want to see it and I will make that video next. So just comment and like this video to let me know. I don't have money. <laughs> so All I right. know. Get out. Please. Get out. Please. Please. Please, please, please. You don't have money. Everything is on borrowed. You still borrow me a couple hundred dollars. Okay, just do me a quick favor, okay? I'm a young, young entrepreneur hustling. You know how it is with the coronavirus. Businesses are struggling. Just take a look at my channel and give me some feedback and some data, okay? Please. All right, but I want some share. Okay, I'll give you revenue on this video. Ding. This video is actually sponsored by Dot Us. It's paying for the bills for this guy. Cue the intro. Guys, this video is brought to you by Dot Us. I am so pumped, guys. So a lot of you guys are starting YouTube channels to maybe make money during this time of the pandemic, or you're trying to start a business with a website, but use YouTube to like get people on your website. So I have a really big tip for you guys. So if you're trying to find a website to have your own domain, whether it's jade.com or my company's called X8 Media, but you realize the version that you want is taken. Like, I hate that. If you're looking for a domain, that's actually available and uniquely you look no further than dot us I'm telling you let me give you an example so my company is x8 media and you can literally just search if your domain is taken or not and look right here it's available 
So literally, I'm going to launch my website using x8media.us. It's short, it's simple, and it's memorable. If you're starting a business using social media, you want to make sure your website's on par. So make sure you have the right website address. Using .us, it allows you to make it more memorable, more you, and unique. And definitely, it's a great lifesaver if your domain's taken and .com's just gone. I can't wait for you guys to create something amazing using .us. Make sure you guys check out .us using the link below in the description box to start your website address today. All right, back to the video. All right, the second thing you can do to grow your channel, if nothing's working, is your watch time. Now, this is a little bit more advanced, but I'm gonna give you guys the easy version of this so you can improve your watch time. So if you don't know, to monetize a YouTube channel, you need to hit 4,000 hours of watch time. And a lot of people are like, how do you do that? And it's really hard to say because I don't wanna be mean, but basically what YouTube's saying, if you're not achieving that, is that you're boring and no one wants to watch you. But I don't wanna say that, right? So I think what it really means is we have to improve our storytelling skills. If you wanna see how bad or good of a storyteller you are, go to your analytics again and open up your watch time retention. If your video is hitting around a 30% retention, that means 30% of people are watching it, but then the rest leave, right? So what happens is you really want to increase your retention. And if you're hitting around a 60% retention, that's really, really good. You don't even have to hit 100%, just hit around half. I've talked to multiple YouTubers. That's a very, very high number. So look at your retention. If it's like 10%, that's not very good. That means you're boring and you're basically getting people off the platform the first 10 seconds you talk. So a lot of the biggest mistakes I see is a lot of people complain about the algorithm when in reality your retention just sucks and you need to improve your storytelling skills. Now storytelling is a skill in itself. People go to film school for this. I don't expect anyone to whip out a 50% you know retention video tomorrow but my best advice is to ask yourself this. Every minute of the video that goes by ask yourself why should the viewer stay? Is there a reason why they should stay? You know are you maybe telling a story where the very end is dramatic or are you just telling a regular vlog where nothing really happens? Another example is you know every minute if you're maybe doing a tutorial, are you giving facts and value every single time? Or are you just wasting someone's watch time, right? You have to think about every minute. Like, why should someone stay on this? Why should someone spend 10 minutes of their day to watch my video? If it's a makeup tutorial and there's nothing going on, maybe you can add a fun story time for people to reach the end. James Charles does a really good job of this because he only shows the reveal at the very end. If you're doing a transformation, show the reveal, make it dramatic. It's really difficult to really explain this in a few words, of course, but one thing you can start with is just ask yourself, why should people stay to the very end of this video. If you can't answer that, that's the reason why your channel might not be doing so well. All right, the third reason why your channel isn't growing is your channel needs to be clumped. Gosh, I hate that word, clumped. Doesn't that just sound gross? Okay, anyways, what I'm trying to say is I had the chance to talk to someone that works actually at YouTube and we were talking about the algorithm and the way the algorithm on YouTube works is it's it's just a child, right? Like algorithm only knows what to recommend your videos by the data that it gets. Sometimes for new channels, it doesn't know where to recommend this channel. It's sometimes just like, are you a beauty YouTuber or are you a business channel? I don't know who you are. And the way that they try to think about who your channel is is by the keywords that you use or about the people that watch it. There's a lot of things that happen. What I'm trying to tell you is if you want to shortcut the algorithm, try to clump yourself with another YouTube channel. For example, have you ever seen on YouTube, it's like this little tab that says like, viewers that watch you also watch this. You basically want to train YouTube to be like, my channel is like this channel, so recommend me together with them. The way you can do that is just make similar videos to that YouTuber that you want to kind of be clumped to it, if that makes sense. Now, hold up. I don't want this to be taken the wrong way because I don't want you guys to comment below saying, Jay told me to copy you guys. And that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm really trying to say is if you're having issues uploading videos and you're not getting viewership, try your best to see who is someone that would probably watch my videos and who else are they watching? If you're someone that makes vlogs and they're watching Casey Neistat, you know, try to emulate that content and maybe do a Casey Neistat reaction video so you can get Casey's fans onto yours, right? The goal is to really just train YouTube to start recommending your content to the right people that are also maybe fans of another influencer or YouTuber. Over time, what you're going to see is those viewers are going to know who you are and then you can make whatever you want. So this is more of a temporary thing. The clumping period typically will take a few months. Now you might be asking Jade, how do I know I clumped my channel to someone else's? Going back into your data, if you take a look at your traffic sources, you can actually see who is your video being suggested by. I'm not going to dive into that video yet, but if you have any questions, just comment below and I'm sure to reply in the comment section. I think it's just super important important when you're clumping your channel to think about this one question and one question only, which is who are my viewers and who else are they watching? Stop trying to think about YouTube as a competitive landscape. You need other creators and other people in your industry to help grow yours as well, because we have to think more collaboratively than just competitively. I feel like that's the biggest thing that kills a lot of creators. They don't want to collaborate and meet other people and talk because they only want the traffic for themselves. And trust me, guys, I'm an only child and I'm at fault for this. All I want is the attention for myself because I just want everyone 
everyone to love me. But I realized is YouTube doesn't work that way. You have to tell the algorithm that, hey, I'm similar to this channel. And the way you can do that is by, again, recreating content kind of similar to that person that you want to clamp by. It's going to take a long process, but hey, not only do you get a few YouTube video ideas, but you can also drive some of those viewers to yours. So I definitely think, long story short, try clumping your channel if you haven't already. All right, make sure you guys comment below your questions. I'm telling you, I can't wait to respond to y'all. And I actually gave away a weekly planner last week. So shout out to the comment winner for this week because you won a free weekly planner. Shout out to the comment winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. If that comment was you, just make sure you email me at jade at xa.media and we will ship you your weekly planner. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want more YouTube channel hacks, tips, and audits, I will link below my website where if you'd like to book a coaching call with me, just learn more, let me know. Otherwise, just comment below in this comment section and I'll be happy to answer your YouTube channel questions. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video and thank you to Dot Us again for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you guys check out Dot Us using the link in the description box down below. Talk to you later, Domination, and bye.